Okay, I'm going on Maritime Noon. It's been a while. It's about uh, what you give, uh, kind of treats you give your dog. Is treats good for a dog? And why does a dog bark? I'm going to mention the issue of barking and crystal meth should be interesting. And, uh, you know, the, the exercise. And explain that uh, the bottom line, the dog exercise. He's seven years old. So I'm going to put that in there. I can, we just don't want to keep her on prescribed medication every time that this issue arises and I'm wondering and if you have any um, let's see what uh, any, uh when it comes about what may be <clears throat> meant to happen okay a bit of a veterinarian question here uh, as well okay. yeah, but uh, are you able to help out at all so well um it is indeed a veterinary question however um I you know at, at the immediate uh, the medication but long-term thinking at uh, the food is great I love it yeah, Charles, you're yep. going to be next, yep. okay? Thank you. Yeah, take your time, by the way. You, you go ahead and tell her the whole story. Oh, no problem. I could. I, I have ADHD. I'm going to take five Ritalin. I could take my time. <laughs> okay. Take as long as you want. Hold on. <laughs> okay, no problem. Which bacteria in her, which bacteria <clears throat> in her gut system might be missing? And then, uh, based on that, they prescribe exactly what is missing, and then that, that she can take that, the dog can take that, in order to resettle a good, really good digestive uh, biome in the gut, and that long term should help. So I would check into animal biome uh, and and see if that can help the long term. Okay, Sylvia, I understand probiotics such as like yogurt, and there's a powder I put on that has probiotics in it. Can you just tell me or spell biome? I never heard of that. Okay, B I O M E. Okay. And it's all yeah, one. And it's all one word. Vet, right? Yeah. And it's all one word. So you <coughs> you can actually check that out online, and it should that should help you out uh, with with some fur further information how to go about it. Okay, Sylvia. Thank you so much, and thank you, Bob. Bye uh, now. Uh, thanks for the call, Suzette. And I'll just mention before you go, our veterinarian is coming on next week. So if you have some follow up questions, so uh, feel free to get in touch next week as well. I just might. Thank you for the tip, Bob. All right. Take care. Thank you, too. Bye-bye. Let's head over to New Brunswick now. Charles? Line. Hi, Charles. Bonjour, Bob. Hello. 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 Oh, to Silvio and you. We're just, I'm just, just want to chat away. I have a seven-year-old dog here, and he's a big one. He's unique, lab, German Shepherd. And he's one of the most popular dogs in downtown Fredericton. There's about five, six businesses. I just open the door. He goes in, gets the treats, and then goes to another store, goes in, comes out, gets the treats, and different treats. And I like to know, he's seven years old, and I like to know if he could get all kinds of different treats. And trust me, me and this dog, just go to YouTube, write D-O-G, D-E-O-G-Y, and Charles Oblong. Uh, and you'll see the videos of him and we exercise and exercise and exercise a lot so uh, can you just my first point but can the uh, can you just give him all kinds of treat and he would ex if he exercise a lot it won't harm him yeah basically if it wouldn't be good for him then you would see the evidence right now he either would gain a lot of weight or he would digest the issues or he would refuse it uh, if it doesn't feel well, so it sounds like it's all okay. And for your particular dog, if he's part lab, there are iron guts anyway, uh, most of them. And so I would just go ahead and let him have fun in, in life. Oh, trust all me. Good. All good. Trust me, he's having lots of fun. But there's only one problem I got with this dog, and everybody notice. I could, I could. He he's so lovable, but the minute he sees somebody on crystal meth he barks all the time he could spot them about a, a, a block away why does he do that i have no idea uh, my hunch is that he either smells it uh, so biochemical changes in the person or that uh, dogs are really really perceptive of micro expression so they have a really normal world view what most people are like in their gesturing and if that is differentiates a bit, then they, they can, it's, it's abnormal for them, it's alien to them. 
and so they would be reacting to that as well. I, and just my last point, uh, he's been with me for about, uh, oh, about off and on about five years, and now I have him now as a service dog and uh, he for for mental issues and he goes around with me farmers market tim horton all over the place and he's very very good and is there anything that would trickle him that would turn bad like he would bite i don't see anything so far so far so good yeah exactly and uh, same thing um, if you don't see anything and the barking at somebody that is your indicator that he will communicate with you if he's not and if he's not comfortable with with somebody or in a situation so that's good too uh so yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't worry about it at this point uh typically unless there's something really going off medically or neurologically in a dog uh past behavior is a good predictor of future behavior and he's looking at me right now and telling me okay charles hang up don't blow it you were doing good you have a good day Okay. Bye. Thanks, Cheryl. No problem. The dog wants to go get more of those treats, I think, at some of the businesses. Right? Yeah, so, so, and, and social close. attention. If he's a really, really friendly dog, yeah. then uh, the treat is bonus, right? Right. Uh, but the social attention probably also weighs a lot. He craves the, or she, he, I guess, the, the interaction. Yeah. So yeah. Like, Lynn is on the line from Charlottetown. Hi, Lynn. Good boy, Deirdre. I think we're doing good. <laughs> that was pretty fun. 